Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the DNA Sports Talk Show here on the Warrior Network. I'm Davis Gregory, and with me always is Mr. Andrew Cross. And today we're having our first episode with the topic of the MLB. Very exciting times here at the beginning of the season. A lot of teams struggling a little bit, but we've also seen some superstar performances from players like Christian Yelich, Josh, uh, Josh Donaldson, and then also Bryce Harper in Philadelphia showing out. So let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the Boston Red Sox, the defending World Series champion and Andrew's favorite team. Andrew, what's going on with the Red Sox here to start? I know they've kind of picked it up lately with that series win over the Rays, but right now, what what's going on with Boston? I mean, it's it's the same thing with every single World Series team that, that wins the World Series. You, you're always going to have a hangover. Unless you're the Yankees team from the 20s that wins every single year, you're always going to have a hangover after you win the World Series. It's the Astros, they started off slow. The Dodgers, they started off slow. And there's always going to be a World Series hangover. And the Red Sox, they're picking it up. They've just won two in a row. They've won, they won three. They, they swept the Rays, who were in first place in the division. And now they've taken two out of the four from the Detroit Tigers. And their bullpen, which we thought was going to be their Achilles heel, is statistically top three in the MLB. They're, but their starting pitching, which we thought was going to be one of the best in the league, is not. So it's, it's sort of like a, like a swap there. Their hitting has been all right, but uh, they do have a lot of players on the disabled list. Not as much as the Yankees who we move on to next. Right, and the Yankees, my team. It's been a very interesting start to this season for the New York Yankees as Giancarlo Stanton, Miguel Andujar, Ellsbury, Judge, Sanchez, Tulowitzki, Gregorius, and Duhar Severino, Bird, Hicks, Patances, and now Clint Frazier on IR as of yesterday. It's been a really tough season for the New York Yankees to start, but they, they are still second in the division behind the Tampa Bay Rays. We're a very hot team right now to start the season, but the Yankees still able to win baseball games as they were, I believe last game defeated the Angels out in Los Angeles. They've still been able to perform well with the help of Luke Voigt and Paxton, and that's really the only thing that's keeping them afloat right now. They're playing pretty good baseball, but again, to think about how better they'd be right now if all those starters were back in the lineup. Uh, it's Definitely, of course, injuries will heal, players will come back, but uh, from what Aaron Boone said about Aaron Judge and that injury being very, very serious, it does not look good for the Yankees uh, down the road, but right now they're still, they're still staying afloat right now uh, in the MLB standings. Now we'll move on to our uh, next topic, our first player topic. Of, the, of this episode, we've got Christian Yelich of the Milwaukee Brewers, who's having a heck of a season to start. Absolute, just, he's playing incredible. He's an absolute beast. Really, if we're being honest, he's a cheat code right now. 13 home runs, batting 337 with 31 RBIs and a slug percentage of 820. He's been killing it right now, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> with that Brewers team, they made a, uh, a lot of moves to go deep into the playoffs last year. Got all the way to, got all the way to game seven. Uh, the championship series in the NL, but I think I mean he's an he's a reigning MVP, and I thought he was going to drop off because Yelich not necessarily he wasn't a household name back in Miami. He went to Milwaukee, and now he's sort of transformed into a star. So yeah, Christian Yelich, I mean, 13 home runs that leads the league right now, as does 31 RBIs. And very impressive start to the season for Christian Yelich. Think he could be in the home run derby. Uh, will be probably the favorite to win it uh, come that time of the year. Now for our last topic, the NL East with the Philadelphia Phillies, the Atlanta Braves, uh, the New York Mets, uh, Washington Nationals, and the Miami Marlins. It's been a really uh, good battle to start this year uh, for the top spot in that division as the Braves are starting to get hot a little bit. Now their pitching, of course, is going to be the main issue with them down the stretch. But as of now, Acuna Jr. and uh, Ozzie Albies are playing fantastic for Atlanta. Yeah, um, but I just want to preface this that most of these topics that we're talking about, they're not going to come into play oh, of course, down yeah. the stretch. But the NL East, I got Atlanta coming out on top like they did last year. Philadelphia, I like them now that they're better. They have Bryce Harper. Um, Washington, they're kind of falling off now that they've right. obviously lost Bryce Harper. Um, but still, they have Max Scherzer. They have a good starting rotation. Their bullpen is what's going to hold them back. But um, Anthony Rendon and Adam Eaton both batting over 300. And the Mets, they sort of had this little this start last year. They started off great. I think they were 11 and five or something like that. And then we all know that Mets were the worst team in the league last year by by a mile. So the NL East should be fun to watch uh, come October, especially with the Braves being the local team, and we get all those games on TV along with the uh, Cincinnati Reds as well. 
Uh, but we want to thank you all for uh, uh, excuse me, joining in with us for our first ever MLB episode of the season this year. And uh, make sure to check back next week uh, for our new episode. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.